was like one take. You know what I'm saying? Bye, Roland. <clears throat> What's going on, guys? Bradley Martin here. And today, um, I want to talk about something that's important to me. And someone asked me this on Twitter. Or someone has asked me this on Instagram, on YouTube comments. Someone's asked me this all over the place. So this has been a question that I've been asked, even in other Q&As, but I just want to go into more detail about it. Um, motivation and what motivates me, what motivates me to keep going. And I gotta, first off actually let me say, I hope you guys know that like, my videos, all this shit comes from the heart. So when you guys are watching these videos, there's no cuts, there's no edits, like this, the stuff that, that I'm telling you, like it's just, I'm kinda making it up as I go along, but it's coming from my heart. So, to start off, I wanna talk about motivation. I wanna talk about um, what has motivated me through my life, so that I can kinda like relate this to you guys. Uh, let that shit go by first. Helicopter. So, um, how do I start this? Motivation. When I first, like, what motivated, what motivated, what motivated me to first get started in weightlifting, and what motivate, motivate, motivated me to stick to it. Man, I can't speak to that. Not, not enough Sour Patch Kids. Um, okay. So when I was young, and I'm not telling you guys the story to be like, oh, what was me and. You know, feel so sorry for Brad and this and not and whatnot and that. But my father took his life when I was six years old. And when that happened, I don't have vivid memories of like where I like where I was or how I felt. I know it obviously felt like shit. I cried. And, uh, still to this day, I'll cry every once in a while. And it's not bad to cry, right? You gotta cry sometimes. But anyways, besides the point, um, <clears throat> I always had this mentality of like, why me, right? I had this thought of like. Why did this happen to me? Why do I have to deal with this? Why do I have to go through this struggle? Whatever it was. Um, as a kid, right? I didn't, I couldn't think much more of it than like, why is this shit happening to me? As a, as a, as a child, right? And <clears throat> I think that kind of started off um, me down a path of like anger. And I wasn't like an angry kid where like I would just go beat kids up at school or whatever. I, I think I was more of the kind of kid that was, I would like try and diffuse how I felt with like laughter or comedy or um, you know, joking, and but I do know that it, you know there was moments where I would I would feel um, how do you say like fucking vulnerable, and in those kind of moments, those were the times when like I'd be like I would be upset with myself that I felt vulnerable, that I felt sad basically about my life or things that were going on in my life, and so I'm telling you guys a story to say that like. When I first started working out, right? When I first started lifting weights, my motivation was different than where did, what it is now. My motivation was, um, I played sports, right? So I started working out and I realized that I liked working out more than I liked even just playing sports. Because it was like the feeling when I was done at the gym, the feeling when I was done, like, you know, basically beating myself up. And it, it made me feel like I felt relaxed. I felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulder. I felt relieved, I felt like, I didn't have to worry so much about like life or what had happened to me or why me, right? Um, so I don't know if you guys could relate to any of that or if you have anything in your life that, that you've gone through or um, you know situations with your family or situations with friends or whatever it is. I know everyone has things like that. And I'm not telling you guys this story so that you feel bad for me. I'm telling you guys this story so that you can relate to uh, me in any sense or any way and be able to take from it, maybe if you haven't thought so much about a situation and what you could take from it. So. When I first started getting into weightlifting, it was like this this feeling of um, being able to like kill it in the gym and do something very physically active, and it released stress basically. And you you guys obviously know that, and you know there's studies, science, and shit like that about weightlifting and, and exercise, running, whatever it is, marathons, doing stuff like that outdoors, physical activity that helps you release endorphins, helps you feel better. So. Essentially, that was my first hook. That's what kept me motivated, was the fact that I can go into the gym and I could release tension that I felt you know, on my heart or on my, on my body. And um, that's where my, my motivation started and it's just been like a medicine ever since. And fast forward now to where I am now and the, the years before now, um, my motivation had kind of shifted, had kind of changed because I became more like aware of what was going on in my life and I kind of let go of um, that why me and, and that anger and I was able to realize that like it is something that had helped me Throughout my life and maybe maybe this message right here today to teach you guys something maybe maybe that's why it happened right maybe For for me to go through that to talk to someone on the camera on the other end of this camera to be able to be like wow that happened to me or I feel like this or something similar and 
you know, if that guy's doing it and, and he's, he's getting his life better, then I can do it too. So that's really what this is about and that's where my motivation has evolved. So I kind of want to say like, um, my motivation now is you guys. And as simply as that sounds, it's like, um, it's the truth. When I started this whole fitness journey, when I started Instagram, I never thought that, um, or I never set out to be like, oh, I'm gonna be like a, like a famous like internet celebrity. All right? I never thought out like, oh, I'm gonna get a, a million followers and I'm gonna have a YouTube and I'm gonna do this. I never thought that my goal was like, so that I could be popular. I first started, like I didn't think it was, sorry, I didn't think it was gonna be my like living. I didn't think I was gonna be able to make a living, you know, like selling t-shirts and supplements and, and giving you guys advice um, and coaching and stuff like that. I never thought I was gonna be able to make a, a really good living doing that. I was on the path of like, I was a trainer, I worked in a gym. I always knew I wanted to own my own gym. Um, and like before Instagram started blowing up, I was training like clients, right? And I got to the point where I was training like some cool celebrities and, and then I got to a point where like, I noticed like you can only reach so many people in an hour, right? So if you're training someone, you, you're reaching that one person or if you have a group of people like a boot camp, you're reaching those 30 people. And I realized you can only reach so many people with so much time. So as like the internet stuff started to grow, I was like, well, I could reach, you know, 100,000, 200,000 people, however many like followers I had on Instagram at the time with a post in, in four hours, in an hour or whatever it is versus reaching one person, training one person at this time. And so then I kind of realized that I just, my motivation started to become like helping people and help, trying to help people change their life because I had so many people come into my life when I was young and I had troubled times and, you know, like I said, dealing with things like my father passing away, dealing with like life issues. Um, I had people come into my life and help me. So I was like, okay, um, I want to be able to reach the most amount of people as possible. And the reason why is just because I, I felt good doing it. I, it, it, it brought me joy. Like it made me think less of the hard times in my life. It made me think less of like what was going on and what the struggles I had because I was able to help other people get over theirs. And um, that's what my motivation is now. My motivation now is completely different than what it was when I started. It wasn't anger. Now, I won't, now don't get me wrong, every once in a while I'll go and I'll, what am I gonna, I'm gonna bang like a heavy deadlift or a heavy squat and I can bring back that idea of like, you know, let me grind through this rep or let me grind through this set and use that emotional stress or that emotional energy that I have from my past. I could use it on things like that, but my main motivation through that brings me, that carries me throughout the day is interacting with you guys. It's helping you guys better, better yourselves and better you at everything that you guys do. Um, and yeah, that's, that's what it is. So my, my shit has shifted. And um, if, if there's a way that like you guys can, can take anything from it, um, I'm gonna bring it back to you guys right now. And obviously my motivation is different than your, your guys' motivation and obviously my motivation, if it's you guys and helping you guys, that can't be your motivation to help you guys because that would it'd be weird, it wouldn't make sense. So I did this video to say, or to get you to think about why it is you do what you do, right? I read a really cool quote the other day um, and, I, and I truly believe this 100% and I want to share with you guys. Um, and it goes like this, right? The passion in you, what you're passionate about, is you right so the passion in you is you and i truly believe in that i believe like if what you like thrive on what makes you super happy like you know like nadim he likes to video he likes to video he wants to be a director right i i like to work out like these things that really make me feel good right that's truly who you are so whatever it is inside of you that's your motivation whatever it is that you like really care about whatever it is that like on the daily no matter what any time of the day you, your mind will start to go there no matter what you're doing like say you're working at a fucking bookstore. I don't know why a bookstore, but fuck it. I like Barnes and Noble, right? So let's say if you're at a bookstore, let's say you're at a uh, you're at a coffee shop, or you're whatever you're doing. You're at a you're in an office. Whatever you're doing, like uh, you're at school, you'll be doing these things. And I'm the same. I remember this the same thing. I'm doing these things, or like I'm I'm playing sports, basketball, whatever it is. And wherever your mind starts to travel to, like when you're in that downtime, your mind will start to travel to like man, I, I want to be doing this. I mean, sometimes for me, it's like video games and shit, but it's like whatever your mind starts to linger to, what you think about like, okay, I need to get better at this, get better at this, because that's what you're really passionate about, right? If you're playing basketball, but you're like, man, I keep thinking about soccer. Maybe you don't really want to play basketball. Or if you're in the office and you keep thinking about like painting, maybe you want to be an artist, like, and you can never get away from that. And it's like, just start to pursue those things and your motivation, like, that's what it is, like your passion. Right, so I become passionate about about helping people, and I, I always have been. But it's something that has started to uh, grow in me, and that's why I do what I do now. So again, guys, 
The passion in you is you. Don't forget it. More videos coming soon. We gotta go actually work out because we didn't we didn't do that yet. We filmed this video first. And I feel really cold and flat and shit. I don't really want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> but that's it. I hope you guys like the video. If you like the style of video, give it a big thumbs up. So much more coming soon. And again, guys, let's get better together. That's what this shit's all about. I'm out, but we're not because we gotta go film more videos. So let's do it. Just let's just film the whole way. Just do it. Just keep talking. Why? I just talked like for like fucking like 20 minutes. It was 10 minutes. Was it 10 minutes? Almost exactly, yeah. Cause, oh, cause you watched it? Okay. Yeah, so you know what, man? Like, sometimes I just think about things that I really don't like sometimes too, and then I, Nadim just pops in my mind. Like yellow Sour Patch Kids. Like, bro, seriously? I'm about to hit this ball. Oh, that, was, that was smooth. Yellow Sour Patch Kids, are, they're not terrible. Like, the best time to eat them is when you eat them like, with like three other actually good flavors of Sour Patch. So like three greens and a yellow, it's okay. Like a conglomerate, and the yellow being the weakest link in three, like you gotta outweigh it by like two. Basically, when you say you don't like yellow sour patch kids, you're basically saying I hate lifting. I what? hate my life. What? So how does how does yellow sour oh, patch kids? Oh, it's too sour. Oh, my how God. do they represent lifting? Oh, no, bro. Heavy. That's so ridiculous. That's oh. like no. I'm gonna go back to the treadmill. That's what I. What, that's what the I hear treadmill. I'm, treadmill. What? Yeah, we. Saw I don't eating. do cardio like that. I do cardio like I put you're girls on my, on my shoulders and I jump. Yeah, those girls were fake girls. No, they're not. They, they weren't real. They're in the gym. No, they're they're fake. They're like two pounds. They're imaginary. Yeah. How did they look real? Because I, I drew them. Still so stupid. I'm a really good artist. No, you're not. You're you're not good at artistry stuff, except for like camera stuff. It doesn't matter. It's still art. It is art. It's a different kind of art. But it's you're not good at drawing and shit. Damn, so much trash on the floor. What is it? So much trash. Why? It's like a symbol. Tell me I see a trash? Why he didn't say that? Why didn't you wave at him? I don't know, man. Hold on, let's go see. Let's let's see the first reaction when we go in the door. Who's working in front of this? Uh, Joe. Oh hi. What's up? Oh, don't, oh shit. Hello, sir. Hey. hey. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. They should have saved you some. We got these for you. Bro. Oh. <laughs> Bro, this well, these aren't even the good ones. Yo, I'm sorry, Dave. What about half a burrito or not? Wow, I want donuts. Where are the donuts? Where are the donuts?